34 inch quarter inch twill tape. We want to find the middle and take a little chalk pen, find the middle there. And then we want to take our 24 and a half by five inch piece and find the middle Oop, this way. So we line up the middles and put the edge about halfway on that twill tape, like that. And then we're gonna fold it over and iron across. So now we're going to go to the sewing machine and just show a straight stitch all the way down here. Cut. Okay, we, now we have that seam um, stitched up top here. So we want to find the middle piece of the long one and I marked it with the chalk pencil and then on the top of our cap we need to find the rounded edge here we need to find the middle and mark it so then we put wrong side to wrong side and line up our middles I know that seems weird because what we're going to do is a French sti stitch so we're going to do wrong side to wrong side, eighth of an inch stitch, turn it in right side inside out, and then we're going to do a fourth of an inch on the other side. So it gives it a nice strong edge for all the washing it's going to go through. start an eighth of an inch stitch right here and go all the way around where our clips are. Cut. Just to make a nice seam. So now you're going to turn it inside out. And then now we're going to clip all the way around the seam just to make it nice and crisp. And before we did an eighth inch stitch seam and then now we're going to do a quarter inch all the way around. So 
I probably should have done this before I put the seam, the black twill tape on the seam, but go ahead and just do a stitch down here just to keep everything nice and neat and have no raw edges. And we'll do that on both sides here. So now, see how it's just nice and tidy where you don't have that raw edge on the back? Because now you're going to bring, tuck that little tail in and bring the right sides together. And then you're just going to sew down about an inch. So right here, one, about one inch. Because this is going to be an opening like if somebody wants ponytail or if they need to tie it tighter. Stop. Okay, so, so there's that one inch seam right there, all the way to the end. Have that little tail on the inside, and then you flip it right side out, and you have a nice, sturdy surgical cap that can be washed after every shift. Okay. So now if you want to add buttons to the side, you can find the front, the middle of the cap, and then the back. So fold it in half like a taco. And then you want to measure from the front to about six and a half to seven and a half inches. And that's where your button will be. That goes about just above the ear. And then you're going to bring it about one inch from the top seam. And then draw a little circle with your chalk pencil of where your button's going to be. And then you're going to do that on the other side. So now I have my button lined up on my chalk mark and I put my button presser foot on and make sure you widen your stitch and then lower the needle down and then test manually to make sure it's wide enough and it is and then I'm going to go back and forth. go to the other two and I use a one inch button I think you could use a half inch or a three-fourths um, you can use two holes four holes this is just what I found okay. now you do the same thing on the other side Fuck. I did it wrong. <laughs>